Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFnack9 from AndroidRoots.com, and this week we're taking a look at, at Extreme Peria Rebirth ROM for your Galaxy S3 T Mobile T999 three nines. So, this one is only compatible with the T Mobile Galaxy S3 version, just keep that in mind. T Mobile only, just keep that in mind, only install it on that one. But this one's a very, very cool ROM, and I think it's a refreshing ROM that um, if you're kind of getting bored of TouchWiz, um, this one will kind of refresh your Android, you know, look and phone just because of how it's laid out and how it looks, uh, which is really, really nice. I like it. Um, and first thing you can see is the moving wallpaper, which is really cool. I love the moving wallpaper. It's very, very clean and very sleek. That's probably one of my favorite features on this, just because of how it looks. Uh, it's very, very refreshing. And I can try to move it if I'm just ever so careful. Um, right there, so you can see you can move it. It is live interactive wallpaper, which is really cool. I love it. That's one of my favorite features, like I mentioned earlier. Um, you do have all these um, Sony UI looks. So these icons are from Sony. So you got Walkman, Album, and Movies. So let's go ahead and go into Album. And it has a whole new look. And you see all these, all the photos are automatically organized. So each date, um, which pictures I, uh, I've taken. Oh, sorry about that, guys. And you can see it right there. So it's all organized. And there you go, there's no albums. But same with movies and Walkman. If you want to do music, all that, you can do that too. Which is really nice. So you have a very, very fast looking launcher. So let's go. And let's see, look at the transition. So if we go and tap on it, you can see it's very, very quick, uh, very fast to respond. And like I mentioned earlier, it kind of refreshes your whole Android experience and changes it up almost completely. You can still sense that it's similar to TouchWiz, but it just changes it up through how it looks for the app drawer and all that, the launcher, the, you know, you can change the order of it very easily. Um, you have a lot of options to do with this. So let's go ahead and dive into settings for just a quick second. And we'll go all the way down to about phone. You're running on 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, so that is the latest Android version. Um, you've got all these options too. You have lock screen options, themes, and systems. We'll just go quick into lock screen, and um, you can go ahead and maximize, wi at maximize widgets. So if you go ahead and go into lock screen, it's actually a full screen now, and you can tap to hold it to unlock it, which is really nice. Um, you can add slider shortcuts if you want. So I can add this one, go to here, let's go to applications, and add calendar. We'll add one more empty applications, and we'll add camera. Okay. And then save it, and now it should be on our lock screen. We'll take a look at that. So if we go ahead, and, and there you go, there's your two shortcuts, and you can add another one there, and another one there, I do believe, too. So it's really nice, you can go ahead and add more shortcuts if you want, or go ahead and change it up to just about anything you want to put on your lock screen. So it's a nice feature, you have themes and systems. We'll go into systems for a quick second. And let's go into power menu. And you can do expand widgets, or expand desktop, I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's go ahead and do status bar invisible. So if we go ahead and now I like this It makes your phone go into full screen mode it removes uh, the status bar So if you do expand desktop it actually makes your status bar go away and your phone screen looks a lot bigger And your status bar is gone makes your phone look much more cleaner and just uh, Makes it nicer <laughs> I guess so let's go ahead and de-expand it I guess <laughs> so Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the apps that are included. Um, some of the cool things is PlayStation, um, um, their game, uh, their game store, PlayStation gaming store. So you can actually play these games. Um, almost all of them do cost. The only free one I did find was this one. Um, so my Wi-Fi is not on, so we can't really use it. Uh, we have new releases and featured and all. So you do have the PlayStation game store. I'm, I'm gonna call it for just for this video. Uh, for your Galaxy S3 just because like I said um, a lot of the Sony features are included for this Galaxy S3 I uh, like this look and the launcher is very similar to the Xperia um, Sony UI as you can see uh, maybe the wallpaper is the same I really don't know I haven't really owned a Sony Xperia device so I only really know the UI but it's very similar so that is one thing that's included you have smart connect so that's cool so you can go ahead and connect to other devices if you want to um, you got Music Unlimited, so you can go ahead and play more music, and once again, my um, Wi-Fi is turned off, so we can't really use that for the time being, but you do get the idea. You also have other options like CPU Spy Plus, so check uh, looks at your C uh, CPU, make sure it's not running a lot when your phone's turned off and all that. Uh, you can monitor it, make sure battery's not being wasted by the CPU and stuff like that. Uh, you have uh, 
Walkmate. That, yes, the Walkmate. So that's for healthy people. So if you want to be healthy, you, you can check how much um, steps you've taken today um, and all this other stuff. I forgot how to go into there. We have other info and all that, you can, what it's about. But you can see um, how much CO2 you saved which I really don't know what that means. I guess how much breaths you used or something like that. <laughs> but you can see, it can actually track how much um, steps you're taking. And this is a good option, you know, um, if you want to see um, how much steps you're taking, if you want to be healthier or for whatever reason. Um, if you do like that app, uh, go ahead and use it. But if you don't, you can just go ahead and install it very, very easily too, which is really nice. And you can see you have a lot of apps. So it's actually three drawers, but it's four by five. Yes, four by five too. So you do have uh, that. Um, this does come pre-installed with Addaway, so that's a big, big bonus because Google recently did remove um, all the ad blockers from Google Play Store. So this does come pre-installed with Addaway, so um, if you were unfortunate and uh, didn't get in time for um, uh, for Google removing um, the, all the ad blockers, you can go ahead and install this from and it comes pre-installed with it um, if you do want to block all those ads. Um, if you do, <laughs> um, you've got Media Controller, or Media Control, Remote, sorry. <laughs> And you do need Wi-Fi for that too, unfortunately. I really think I should start turning my Wi-Fi <laughs> before these videos. Um, yeah, okay. Yep, I want to quit it. But you do have a lot of options. You get a power saver too if you want to save your battery and all that. Um, but overall, it is a nice refreshing look. As you can see, um, all the transitions are similar to TouchWiz, but you still have um, really cool widgets um, that you don't usually get with stock with TouchWiz too. So if you're going to tap on this. Oh. There we go. So as you can see, you got more um, toggles right there if you go and tap on it. So, you know, if I tap on it again, you have all these toggles, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, brightness, data, GPS, auto sync, all these, all these different types of toggles that you can easily get. And it looks very, very clean just because it's, um, it's different and it just looks clean in general. So this is just a quick, quick look at Extreme Peria. Rebirth ROM for your Galaxy S3 T-Mobile T999. If you did enjoy this ROM, go ahead and click the link down below to get this ROM and download it and flash it via Clockboard Mod Recovery. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button and subscribe button in the bottom left -hand corner as that has really, really helped me out a lot. It shows me to support me and you'll see more of these ROM reviews for your Galaxy S3. Not just T-Mobile, but other devices too. Um, just for Galaxy S3 in general. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to follow me, add me and like me on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus. All links down below and there's also an excellent, excellent way to get in contact with me if you have a problem with this ROM or any other videos I have made. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.